Okay, so we will talk about the trigonometric functions in the unit circle approach. And uh, let's have a quick recall of your first mid-quarter lesson. Ano nga kasi yung equation for uh, finding the equation of a circle? Ano nga kasi yung formula for finding the equation of a circle? Anyone who still remembers the formula? Do you still remember? Opo, ma'am. Yes, Dwayne. Um, ano po? Open, close, parenthesis, x minus h squared plus mm -hmm. y minus k. Uh, open, close, parenthesis, y minus k squared equals r po, ma'am. R squared po. Okay, very good. Ayan, very good. Palakpakan naman natin. Uh, equation in finding, uh, sorry, formula for finding the equation of a circle. And through this, we will now identify the equation of the unit circle. The unit circle kasi will be the basis of our trigonometric functions. Unlike when you were in junior high, your basis were the special triangles, di ba? So let's look at the unit circle. This is the unit circle. Okay, now the formula for finding the equation of a circle is this one. If I will ask you, um, what will be the HK or the center of this unit circle, what will your answer be? Don't forget to chat in our chat box because these are also recorded. Ano kasi? Ano center niya? Ano HK niya? Kirby, correct? Aaron. Okay. Angelo, tama, Mickey. The center of the circle is at 0, 0. Ian, correct. 0, 0 kasi this is the origin. Now, let's substitute here. Ah. We will substitute. Ayan. Yan yung equation natin. Oh. It's okay, Sam. Next question. How about the radius? What will be the radius now? Tignan nyo kung saan siya tumatama. Sam, I think this is where your answer will fit. Ano radius nito? Correct. The answer for the radius is 1. Now, we substitute 1, ha? Ayan. So, if we will simplify this equation, the equation of the unit circle pala will now be x squared plus y squared equals 1. And this formula will be the basis for the rest of the a formula that we will be arriving or deriving at, okay? So, you remember this one, huh? Moving the slide in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. So, now let's talk about the prerequisite topics to unit circle. Um, before we actually go to the unit circle, dapat may mga skills muna kayo na ma bago ka mag -ulti. So, let's first talk about angles. Back in your junior high, when you talk about angles, you define it as the uh, two rays with a common point called the vertex, right? That's how you define an angle. But here in trigonometry, in senior high STEM, in calculus, an angle is illustrated by a rotating ray from its end point called the vertex. So when we talk about the definition of an angle here in trigonometry, we are talking about a certain movement. It is a ray that moved from the starting position called the stationary side. <clears throat> Excuse me, but so this is your stationary side, also called the initial side. And then it moved by a certain degree measured either by theta or by radian. We'll discuss about that later. So uh, it moves and we now arrive at the rotating side. And this is called the terminal side. Yeah. So again, kapag angles in trigonometry, we are talking about rotation. Okay. And then since it is rotating, then it forms a circle. Kaya nga unit circle approach tayo. Okay. Moving the slide in four, three, two, and one. Now let's begin with lesson one. Besh intro pa lang yun. Ito in standard position. Let's have the quick definition. When we talk about standard position, there's, there are two uh, characteristics or two um, things that you have to remember, okay? Angles in standard position, 
usually look like this. So the two, two things that you have to remember is, first, the initial side is on the positive of the x-axis. So this one, the initial side, should be on the positive of the x-axis. Hindi siya dito sa negative, ah. It should be on the positive of the x-axis. Next, the vertex is found at the origin. The vertex is found at the origin. Otherwise, it will not be considered an angle in standard position. Okay? Good morning, Christo. Uh, angles in standard position, two things to remember. Initial side must be on the positive of the x-axis. Vertex must be at the origin. The terminal side could be anywhere. Okay? So, kung naiintindihan ang dalawang characteristics, papusuan naman. Okay, number your papers, 1 to 6. 1 to 6, let's have your first set of items. Identify whether the following angles are in standard position or not. If it is in standard position, draw a star. If it is not, then draw a cloud. Kailangan fluffy. Identify whether the following angles are in standard position or not. Uh, answer on your paper, draw a star if it is in standard position. Otherwise, draw a cloud. Okay, item number 1. Is this in standard position? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Let's see what this is in standard position. This is a star. All right. Item number two. Is this in standard position? 10, 9, 8, Angela, on bilis, oh, tsaka si Aaron. Five. Kaya, yeah, correct, Carla, correct. Three. Very good sila, oh. Tatalino, oh. Dami yung mga chat. Okay, this one is a cloud. Ayan, no? Gumagana yung brain cells natin. So proud of you. Yes! So, bakit nga ba to cloud? Anyone who would like to explain why? Dwayne? Um, yung, ano, yung initial niya po, yes, nasa... Uh, positive side na x-axis po. Mm -hmm. Pero po yung vertex niya po kasi wala po sa origin. Okay, very good. So, the vertex must be found at the origin. And since the vertex in this example is not on the origin, then this is not in standard position. Very good. Oh, natututo, natututo. Magaling. Item number three. Is it this in standard position? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, and time is up. What's your answer? Ayan, ang bibili. A cloud. Yes, it's a cloud. Okay, correct. At bakit siya cute? Bakit siya cloud? Uh, let's call on Rainer. Simbulan. Sorry, Man, yung initial side niya po, wala po sa positive text. X-axis. Very good. Exactly. So this time naman, the vertex is, yes, it is found at the origin, but the initial side is not on the positive of the x-axis. So this is a cloud. Sabi nga ni Ino, cloud. No? All right, next item. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Gumagana ang brain cells niyo kahit malamig. What is this angle? Is it in standard position or not? In five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, small so chatters net is a star. Ayan, tama rin si Mark Lloyd. So this is a star kasi tinamaan niya both characteristics that we're looking for. Okay? Next item. Is this in standard position? In five, four, three, two, one. And time's up. Ayan, ang bilis naman it must be a cloud. Tama. Tama. Ayan. This is a cloud kasi uh, ang initial side natin is not on the positive of the x-axis. Dapat sakto siya dun sa x-axis. Okay? Uh, I think this is the last item. Item number six. Is this in standard position? In five, four, Three, two, one. Time's up. Yeah, the answer is this. Okay. 
So this is not in standard position. Kindly get your to lesson two. For lesson two, we are going to identify whether the angle is positive or negative. Lesson two, positive and negative angles. So the sign of an angle can be determined from looking at its rotation. If the angle is rotating counterclockwise or uh, if you would see it it will start going up start going up counterclockwise then this one is a positive angle if it is clockwise it starts going down then it is a negative angle paano ba ang counterclockwise clockwise ma'am if you would look at your analog clocks di ba dito 12 1 2 3 four, five, six, it is counterclockwise because it's going against the turn of the number. And it is clockwise because it is going with the turn of the number. Kaya clockwise. Ito counterclockwise. Nilabanan niya. Parang counter strike. Three, two, one. All right. Do you have questions uh, regarding positive and negative angles? Mukhang uh, well. Five. Okay, identify whether the following are angles are positive or negative. Uleta, counterclockwise, pataas, starting pataas, um, that's positive. And then clockwise, downward, that is negative, right? Just draw a plus sign or a minus sign to identify your answer. Again, we are identifying positive and negative angles. Five items. Item number one, is this angle positive or negative in five, four. Ang bibilis naman. Very good, very good. And the correct answer, hard correct, Christoph Kers. Positive. You must be proud of yourself. May nagigets kayo sa lesson. <laughs> Item number two. And Janine, tama. Item number two. Is this positive or negative? Ayan, iyan, kabilis ha. Jomen, agire, correct. Allies. Negative. Ma'am, bakit negative pa taas naman yung arrow? Again, ha? this is clockwise. You have to look at where it goes first. Una siyang bumaba bago umakyat. Kaya this is negative. Moreover, this is clockwise. Kaya this is negative. Okay? Be careful. Next item. Is this positive or negative? In 5, 4, 3... Two, one. Ayan, Joshua. May ingay daw ako. Sorry, sorry. Peace. Correct answer here is positive. Yeah. It's positive. Bakit siya positive? Eh, pababa yung araw. Kasi, although pababa yan, saan siya unang dumaan? Umakyat muna siya bago siya bumaba. Tapos, this is counterclockwise. So, it is positive. Okay. Oh, next item na. <laughs> Masyado ko na-excite. It is positive or negative. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Uy, ang galing ah. Sure na sure sila dito. Si na Chloe. Yes, negative. And I think this is pretty obvious. So, very good. Oh, susunod, susunod. Last na to, no? Okay, sorry. Three, two. Roy, let's show Roy. Liwa, liwa, let's go. Two, one. The correct answer here is... Ta-da! It is positive. This is positive. Kasi counterclockwise pa din yung ikot niya. Okay, yun lang. So, that's it for lesson. So, 10 points. Mm -hmm. Sa mga nakakuha po ng tamang sagot, ay...